night. With Pearl and Monroe. Extraordinary. What is your wish? A wish, you say? Let me think. I wish that Alice Munro was my intellectual equal. Um, that I'm her intellectual equal. Your wish is granted. How does it work? It's magic, isn't it? Yes, some kind of sensor. Go on, ask it something. Okay. Um... Rose, are you stuck in there? No. Are you stuck out there? It asks questions. It's like it's alive. How about this then, Rose? What's the square root of 1,296? She's confused. I'll do a reboot. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's wonderful. I'm sure August will love it. Museums aren't what they used to be. Oh. No. They're much rarer than ever before. Too kind. Let me get those prizes for you. Of course. Happy to help. Let's call it payment for that wish. Yes. Monroe will be pleased with my wish. Thirty-six. I'm so tired. I could be watching reruns of Moonlighting right now. Treasure buried. Remind me why this is my job again? You have smaller fingers than me, Monroe, and you can get into smaller spaces. So it's nothing to do with you having the warm, cozy studio then? Absolutely not. Uh, how many capsules to go? Uh, one, I think, but I've just dropped it. You could just tag its location there. Oh, it's okay. I found it. Good work, Monroe. Going live in three, two, 
Welcome back, listeners. Good news, Monroe only has one more capsule to plant. That's right, Poe. I'm almost done. And then our listeners can start trying to find them. Yes, thanks to the generosity of August Museum, you could find a buried treasure. Uh, tell them what's in the capsules, Monroe. Only the best treasure of all, Poe. A free family ticket to August Museum. And that's not all. One lucky capsule has a secret treasure in it, hidden by the curator himself. I wonder what that is, Poe. Perhaps it's edible, like fine caviar. Great. I've been hiding fish eggs. Did one of them feel different to the others, Munro? No, not really. Well, handle them carefully, in case they open a portal to another world. Could do with one. Okay then, sounds like Munro is getting a little frosty. Time for these words from our sponsors. Remember, Monroe, if you speak with a smile, people know you're smiling. I hate you. Does that sound happy? Actually, yes, it does. You can tell what shape your mouth is in. Dehydrated. I think I'm gonna throw this last one in the river, Poe. Uh, don't contaminate the river, Monroe. Fine. There's one other place I can think of putting it. Okay, lovely lady. Um, just bring it back with you. Thank God this day's over. See you soon. Uh, just wait on the line. We're live in three, two... Welcome back, listeners. It's time to find the treasure. Get the geocaching app. Search for hashtag Poe and Monroe, no spaces, and join the hunt. If you see Monroe, tell her dinner's in the dog. Because you cooked it. I'm an exceptional cook. Monroe, on the other hand, burns everything. Like our friendship. Sorry, Monroe. You know I love you, really. Let's have a little break whilst Monroe gets back to the studio. Good luck, August. Yes, good luck. Don't worry, Rose, you'll not be hungry for much longer. Sorry about the mood. It just felt lonely. You're not alone, Alice. You've got me. I don't know, do I? Of course you do. But you know how much I care for you. And your wife? It's complicated, you know that. The thing is, I'm not sure it is. What are you saying? Nothing. I'm just tired, I guess. What we have is special. The most special thing. And your marriage? It's Schrodinger's marriage. I'm simultaneously married and not married at the same time. No, Poe, you're married. There's a piece of paper that states exactly where you are at this current point in time. Alice, we're going live. Let me. Three, two... Welcome back to Radio August's Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Earlier today, I placed nine capsules in and around town for you lovely listeners to find, and one of them was sealed by the curator himself. Find that capsule and you'll win. A hot dinner date with me, Alice Monroe. Monroe, that's... What if it's a girl? Oh. I hadn't thought about that. I would love that, actually. Did you mean hot dinner as in the food is hot? Or a hot date? Well, I suppose that depends on who wins, doesn't it, Poe? Astounding. Monroe is offering a dinner date with the first person who finds the curator's capsule. Good luck, I suppose. 
Oh, and spoiler alert, I wasn't that great at hiding them. Finding them should be easy. Much like getting a date with you, then. You could always try and find it yourself, Poe. But I already have so much of you already, Monroe. Well, look, we have our first caller. Hello, it's Eric. Eric Planner. Hello, Eric. What's happening? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Monroe. Hi, Eric. Hi, I am such a big fan. Oh, I'm doing a heart shape with my fingers, but you can't see it. I found a capsule. Which one? Outside the doctor's surgery, underneath the bench. That's one of ours. Crack it open, Eric, and let us know what's inside. Okay. Well, while Eric's trying to work out what he's won, tell us more about the doctor's surgery, Munro. Okay. It's a general practice. I don't actually go there. But I'm sure it's very nice. <laughs> Where do you go? I haven't needed to see a doctor since I got to August. I'm more of a holistic girl anyway. Okay, let's put a pit in that then. Um, I wonder how Eric's doing. Eric? Eric, what did you find? Eric? I can't hear anything, Poe. Maybe his phone ran out of battery. Weird. Shall we take the next one? You're live on Radio August. I love you, Monroe. Oh, that's so sweet. Do I win a date? <laughs> sure, if you find the curator's prize. I'm at the railway crossing. I'm opening the capsule now. What was that? Sounds like he dropped the phone. I didn't even get their name. They'll be back on in a minute. Great. Why don't you tell us about the railway station while we wait? Of course. August Railway Station was built in 1936 by the Thomas Moore Clay and Brick Company. The very first train route was between Birmingham and August and all the villages in between. It closed down about five years ago, because, quite frankly, not many people wanted to come to us. Did I ever say that you're a know-it-all? Not live on air, but I'll take a compliment anywhere it's served. Oh, I don't think Caller 2 is coming back. Hmm. Two in a row. If we lose three callers, that's a record. Well, there is one on the line. Third time lucky? Caller, you're live on Radio August. Hi, it's Jazz. I'm at the crossroads. Hey, Jazz, great to meet you. Have you found a capsule? Yep, it was by the post box. That's one of ours. Now, remember, once you've opened it, try not to lose battery or get cut off or disappear. Got it. Opening it now. Seriously? This is too strange, Monroe. Life is strange, Poe. You no, know, something's not right. What are you gonna do about it? Maybe we should open the capsule we've got. Don't jinx it. We've got a fourth caller. Let's try them. Fine. Caller 4. You're live on Radio August. Hi, Paul. It's Izzy. Hello, Izzy. Uh, what's that short for? Izzy. Yes? It's, it's short for Izzy. That's my name. Silly me. Where are you, Izzy? I'm at the old well in Briarley. Is it in the bucket? <laughs> it's not in the bucket, Izzy. It is nearby, though. All right, now have a look. Please call in once you've found the capsules, not when you're in the general vicinity. Found it! Excellent. Now, take a look inside and tell us what you find. Is he? Sorry. Oh, we thought we'd lost you. No, the ledge was stuck. I'm opening it now. 
Izzy? Izzy? We should open our capsule, Monroe. Maybe someone's pranking us. To what end? I don't know. Caller number five, you're live on Radio August. Hi, Monroe. It's Eddie here. Hello, Eddie here. What do you got for me? I've got a capsule. Which one? It's from the telephone box on High Road? That's one of ours. Although it's not a telephone box anymore. No, it's a, a defib thing. Yeah, that's used to resuscitate people who have had heart attacks. Good. I think I'll be having one if we go on a date. Well, no one's found the right one yet, Eddie. That we know of. Okay, wish me luck. Good luck, Eddie. Yes, good luck. Eddie? He sounded sweet. Sounded? Well, they're obviously all part of the same prank. What if something serious is happening to them, Monroe? Maybe you could go and watch the next caller. Or we could just open the capsule that's right in front of us. Don't you want to see where this is all going? To hell in a handbasket, I should imagine. Grumpy guts. This is on you, Monroe. I just can't stop. We've got callers. Caller 6, you're live. Not for very long. Hey guys, I'm Queenie. Hi Queenie, where are you at? Uh, I'm at the Mary August statue. It's a stunning piece. Oh, I think you're both stunning pieces. Queenie, that's sweet. Have you found a capsule yet? Yes, but I've been listening and I'm getting a bit worried about opening it. The plot thickens. Queenie, are you playing with us? I'd like to be. Well then, open it up. Okay. Another one bites the dust. She seemed quite eager to open it. Perhaps it is an elaborate prank after all. Only one way to find out. Open our capsule. Keep taking callers. Caller number seven. Monroe is zero for six. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. Of course you don't. What's your name, caller? It's Helena. And have you found a capsule? Yes. Yes, I have. I'm at Orchard Way, the Lover's Walk. The Lover's Walk? Monroe! Hey, Helena. What's the Lover's Walk? Oh, it's not really called that. It's just a nickname. Go on. It's just a lovely place to walk. It's a very discreet woods, Monroe, with lots of conveniently placed benches and tree stumps. Tree stumps? To sit on? Oh, that's so rude! What's he doing? He's being an idiot. Yes, I have a first degree in idiocy. Have you opened your capsule yet, Helena? Not yet. I'm doing it now. Just putting my phone down. Be careful. Godspeed. Eleanor, can you hear me? So long, and good night. Well, there's only two capsules left to find. I still think we should open ours. We can do that afterwards. What if there's some big punchline for nine? I don't think so, Monroe, but you have the controls. Caller 8. Hello, Monroe. I'm Arvin. Hello, Arvin. How are you today? Better for hearing you. And Poe, of course. Hello, Arvin. Uh, not, not so much Poe. Alrighty. I'd literally kill to go on a date with you. How many people? That's... sweet? I think you're gorgeous. Okay, then. Shall I open the capsule now? Yes. Please do. Okay, Monroe. Wish me luck. Good luck, Arvin. Yes, Arvin. Let's hope the same fate that's literally struck seven people in a row before you somehow skips you this time. There's no need to be like that, Poe. Arvin? Arvin? I'm guessing he's opened the capsule, Monroe. Arvin? Arvin? Anybody there? He's not a ghost. 
How do you know? We've only got one caller left. How did they find them so fast? We didn't even get to find out how Arvin found his. Maybe he just wants to be on the radio. If this turns into a meme, we'll be taking calls like this for the rest of our lives. Shushpo. Let's think. Caller number nine. You're currently live on Radio August. Hey, it's Q. Hi, Q. Congrats, you found the last capsule. Did I? Yes, you did. We've already had a caller, so you must be the last. Wow, so... is the Curator Prize still available? Well, actually... We lost a lot of those other callers. Phone line issues. Okay, so it's still all to play for. Absolutely. Although I'd recommend not opening the capsule and bringing it to the station first. I'm actually at the graveyard, so that's quite a ways away. We can wait. Just let Q open the capsule, Poe. Don't you want to see what happens? Just let them do their thing. Fine. Fire away, Q. Break the capsule. And try to avoid death. Death? He's kidding. It's just that whenever someone's opened up a capsule so far, they've stopped talking to us. Why would they do that? We're kind of hoping you could tell us. I can video call if you want. Yes, please. Okay, wait. Ah, uh, I'm on 3G, so it's not going to work out here. A likely story. Thanks for trying, Q. It's totally up to you whether you open your capsule or not. Q? Q? We've just lost nine people in a row mid-conversation. That's a Radio August record. Congratulations to everyone who found a capsule. We think. And we'll be back on the hour with the next August update. Until then, stay safe, August. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh dear. I don't like the sound of that. I just remembered I made a wish today. What did you wish for? It was trivial. I honestly can't remember. Did it have anything to do with these capsules? The curator did say something about the capsules being payment for the wish. And you're telling me this now? It just seemed like a little bit of fun at the time. The painting was talking. You made a wish with a talking painting. Now you're saying it that does sound a little suspicious, doesn't it? You think? Maybe I should go and see the curator again. I want to see what's in the capsule. Monroe, it could be dangerous. That's my little name, honey. Demon that granted Mr. Pope's wish this morning. Demon? I think I'm just gonna leave. You can't leave. Until you find the right book. Fifty Shades, here I come. a book of all the things he'd like to say, but never does. Open it, and you'll be reading forever. Love 
please? Love will set me free. You're thinking with your heart, not your head. Find God, find your path. God and religion are two separate things. Many separate things, actually. This one. It has lots of words for getting out of here. It's formulaic. For people that don't have knowledge. You're formulaic. Yes. Give me the right book and you can leave. It should be simple, shouldn't it? It has all the words in it. The cat, the tongue, the pen. It will never have all the words. Ever. What's this one about? The doctor. Is it any good? Can you type? Yes, with both thumbs. I don't think it's for you. Will this book teach me how to shape shift? Yes. But there's no writing inside. Then you're not meant to see it. Can I take this one? Then I can shape shift. Can you change into a darky? I don't know. Can I book this one out? It's the exit. So, you're not just a pretty face. She eats people, you know. Who? Rose. Why? She's a canvas demon. The grant wishes in exchange for souls. Thanks. Don't forget to return it. Our overdue fees cost the earth. Where's Monroe? Shh. About this tall red hair. Shh. You have a wonderful library. It is, isn't it? Why am I here? Rose sent you. It's your wish that Monroe is your intellectual equal. Remember? Why here? It's the first of 3,000 tests. 
that will, by the end of it, ensure that you are intellectual equals. So it's school again? Hardly, Mr. Pope. Now, if you please select a book from the table behind you, we can test your intellect against Miss Monroe's. How many books did it take for Monroe? She chose them all. In the wrong order. <laughs> Quite a catch, Mr. Pope. Am I expected to get the same amount? You're expected to fail. 2,999 times, Mr. Pope. Don't worry. Time passes differently in here. The exit. It's obvious. It was for Monroe, but not for you. I choose Monroe. I always choose Monroe. This book only has drawings. Do you know why? No. You will. It's our radio show, Dark Nights. Dark Nights with Paul and Monroe. Presumably, you'd like it to go on forever. So that's not going to set you free, is it? August, August. So good. They named her twice. It's a book about all the events that repeat in August. Like this conversation. The mathematical sign for equality because I wanted us to be equals. That's a great recap of your wish with Rose. But it's the wrong book. Rose. She got me into this. She can get me out. She doesn't want you to get out. She wants to eat souls. Is Frankie behind this? No. Did you bury him, Mr. Pope? Doesn't the library have the answer? Yes, it does. But I don't have time to read all the books. Divorce. It's what Monroe wants. Congratulations, Mr. Pope. Miss Monroe is your intellectual equal. It's the only way Monroe and I will truly be together. I shouldn't really let you go, but... Just 2,999 more tests to come. 
Okay, I'm ready. Not now, Mr. Pope. When I'm ready. Your deal with Rose has terminated. Now, you just owe the library. What just happened? I don't know. Were you... In a library? Yes, we had the same dream. Maybe there were chemicals in the capsules. Yes, that caused a joint hallucination that lasted much longer than the time we've been away. Do you think all the capsules are the same? Probably. You go and get the remaining capsules. I'll visit the curator. All I can see are books. Sorry, Monroe. Let's just go quickly, whilst we still can. Is it possible to see the curator, please? I am the curator. Did you steal some tickets yesterday? What? No. The curator, the other curator, he gave them to me. There is no other curator. It's just myself and Vicky, who sometimes helps at the front desk. But then, who was I talking to? Not me. The painting of the girl. That's still here, isn't it? Painting of a girl? Let me show you. was there. You've taken it down. No, we'd never hang anything there. It's a doorway. But when I came in, there was a painting. Well, unless someone's been messing around. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry. I'm feeling pretty confused right now. And the tickets? I, well, of course. How much do I owe you? Nine residents of August have been reported missing. And they were all listeners looking for our geocached capsules. There may be more capsules still out there. If you find one, please don't open it and turn it into the police immediately. In related news, a man posing as the curator of August Museum is also wanted for questioning by the police. He's potentially dangerous, so do not approach him. Curator Jones is described as tall, dark, and mysterious. Sounds like you, Poe. Don't give people the idea it was me. Sorry, no. I can vouch for Poe's whereabouts last night. And most nights, actually. Should we tell them what happened, Monroe? I'm not sure they're ready. August, we think the curator spiked those museum capsules. Just to be clear, imposter curated Jones, not actual curated tombs. As absurd as it sounds, the capsules he gave us seem to contain some kind of hallucinogenic drug. In a Wizard of Oz kind of way. Yes. We think those capsules had the power to make people believe they were being teleported. The drug activated when the capsule was opened. Our capsule took us to a strange place indeed. It was a spooky library. It was just empty, my mother. It was super weird with a super weird librarian. And a canvas demon. This is a lot to swallow for our listeners. A canvas demon <laughs> grants wishes. It lives in a painting and eat salt. What's not to get? Wow. Okay, listeners, if you've just tuned in, you've probably missed that this is Poe's Curiosity Shop, 
and we were just talking about a gothic-looking painting Pope brought in. No, we weren't. It happened, Munro. I'm telling the truth. Um, the effect of the drugs is still wearing off, as you can hear. You were there, Munro. August, this is Munro speaking. If you ever find a tiny little metal capsule in August again, throw it away. Thank you. Yes, there's a possibility they're very dangerous. As dangerous as me? You're my poison, Munro. Maybe I'm the cure. Be back in just a few minutes. Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe.